Caleb, he is, he, he's incredible. I mean, I can't think of anyone else that's more ready to race than, than Caleb Russell. His mental strength is like the greatest of, of almost all of our racers. Like he can go into any race, any series, and he knows for sure that he's gonna win. Every single time he gets on a motorcycle, he has this in his mind that he is going to win. He is going to be the champion. And it really, truly, uh, that's the epitome of, of ready to race. He gets on a motorcycle, throws a leg over, and, and he knows it's gonna happen. He has that confidence and that flows through our entire organization. Caleb and I and uh, KTM have a long history together. Uh, it actually dates to the, the very first time that I came to US uh, as a mechanic. So uh, pretty much I've seen Caleb uh, grow, grow with the brand uh, uh, like myself as well. Uh, so uh, it's, been, it's, been, uh, it's been a really good run. Uh, something that probably uh, won't be broken for a long time. I always wanted to um, you know, be a racer. It didn't really matter what it was. It was just one day I knew this was what I was going to be doing, was racing a motorcycle. But, you know, as a kid, you don't understand, like, you know, um, you got to make a living at it and kind of grow up and have a job or whatever. So. Once I understood that aspect of it, I got a lot more serious and uh, life comes at you fast, so. So in, in GNCC, Caleb, he's, he's already a legend. He's seven time consecutive champion, going for his, his eighth championship, the, the winningest motorcycle uh, racer in GNCC history. And uh, it, it's exciting to be a part of the GNCC nation today because we're watching history be made every single race. Every single race, we're watching the history books be rewritten. Uh, a legend is in the making. It, it's legendary today, and people are going to look back at, at this time in history. And it's, it's exciting to say that you were there and you were a part of it. And it's an honor to have Caleb be a part of the KTM family. If you look at if you go all the way back to the beginning, uh, Caleb was a teenager uh, when, he, uh, when he really started to to uh, do well and uh, you know I've seen Caleb grow from a teenager all the way to a, a multi-time a champion, a father and, and a, a very big fixed figure for, for actually for GNCC racing itself and uh, KTM brand. I wasn't the best youth racer. I, I just kind of got by. I was you know won a couple championships when I didn't have a ton of competition in my classes but um, I was always a little overshadowed by Thad and Corey Buttrick at the time, and there's a, there's a few other guys that don't even race anymore. So um, I, I feel like that's kind of a good thing, you know. As a youth rider, I was always getting beat by these guys, and um, I kind of uh, it, it didn't really bug me so much back then. But uh, once we got going, like I said, and you gotta make this a job, and uh, the only way to do that, you know, to continue this job is. To, and do it the best you can is really buckle down and um, you know get the results that you're paid to get and that's when uh, you know it all changed for me. GNCC it's it's the single biggest off-road race series in the world and he has this ability to connect to fans all across the world to connect to connect to youth the next generation of riders that are coming up and we're honored to have Caleb represent uh, KTM in, uh, in the past, today, and uh, out into the future with our brand. Yeah, I think it's hard to point one thing. Obviously, if we look at uh, the very first championship, you know, that's something that uh, we'll, we'll, uh, you know, we'll always remember. We do remember the second championship, the third, fourth. All of the championship has been important and has a special place and memory in, in, uh, with me and, and with the team. But what really amazes is, you know, weekend in, weekend out, still today, is Caleb's determination to win. There's nothing more when he puts his helmet on, he's so determined to win that there's, uh, 
very few things that can stop him from winning. You know, obviously, you know, it's a it's a sport and uh, he's not unstoppable. But you know, his term the, the determination of of, uh, of a winning and uh, being able to uh, to really uh, manage the race is something that um, it it really um, you know amazes weekend in weekend out still today. It's not that I always thought I was going to be on this this team or this bike, it's just how it kind of worked out. And like I said, I just always want to be a motorcycle rider. And as I got older, I realized, you know, this was the team you wanted to be on. And So for, for KTM, off-road racing, this is our, this is our roots. Uh, we love uh, racing off-road. We, we love being a part of the community, especially here in GNCC with the GNCC Nation. And to have Caleb be seven-time consecutive champion, going for his eighth championship, it's it's amazing for us to to be a part of this um, organization here and really grow the future of of the sport here at GNCC. You know, our, our roots are here. Uh, started with with Mr. Penton. Started with Blackwater. Uh, we've always been a part of of off road racing in America, and it's amazing to to have Caleb be our our champion. GNCC National wow. Champion.
Yeah, it's definitely uh, the closing of an era for sure. Uh, there will definitely be a new champion next year. I'm not racing. It's a little weird thinking that I'm not going to you know, be getting ready to gear up and come out here again, but um, I'm content. I'm happy with what I've been able to accomplish and what I've been able to do in GNCC. So it's, uh, you know, a little bit bittersweet. I'm, I'm bummed 2020 ended up the way it has and uh, with the coronavirus and then obviously myself getting hurt. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit bittersweet. I, you know, I wish I could have uh, battled for the win the last couple of races and uh, not KO'd myself at the last one. But, you know, that's, that's motorcycle racing and, you know, you make mistakes and you go down. And uh, I've been fortunate throughout my career. Obviously, I've got eight, champ eight GNCC championships. I've been fortunate enough to uh, minimize the injuries and minimize the races that I've missed or DNF'd. And uh, that's why I can stand here being eight-time champion.